Hi, my name's Dan Harrelstead, and I'm just uh, making this video to show off these lights, because there aren't very many good ones on YouTube. And I figured I should put one up to show off the real potential, because they're really good lights, and Chave's a really good light maker. So first of all, these are the Chave 4 plays, and I have two of them put up on speaker poles. And uh, they're about $200 each on Musician's Friend, but you can get them sometimes on sale. And uh, <coughs> they have built-in sound programming. So you don't even need a DMX controller, you can just uh, put them on sound. And then they have a sensitivity control, so now I'm on sensitivity all, so if you clap or talk barely at all, they'll move. But you can turn that down so you can turn up louder and it will do more. It'll move slower instead of just being so crazy. I'll show you the lights in the dark really quick. <coughs> Alright, these are the Chave four plays, and there's two of them, keep in mind. And this is them in the dark and what they look like from if you were out in the audience. Kind of like what they would look like, I guess. And uh, if you take a look from the stage, if you take a look from the stage, this is kind of like what you would see. They kind of go everywhere and uh, they really cover up. You can put them anywhere on the room. Alright, so these four plays. They have adjustable knobs on each side and one here. So you can put them, pretty much put them angled any direction you'd like. And uh, you can really mix and match and go backwards and cross and do whatever you want. So that's what's really nice about them. They're really, they're really flexible. And now I have it on sound programming as you see. You can do output DMX ins and outs. There's the mic. Sensitivity control. And uh, power, I guess, you can link them together, and I'm not too sure how many together you can put, but uh, I have two. So that's kind of an idea of what they look like without fog. You don't see the beams or anything, but it, they're still a really cool effect. You can really still do a lot with them. I'm going to get the fog machine going and uh, then I'll shut the lights off after a little bit so you can see what it, what it looks like with fog. And so I'll just get it going and you can see how fast this, this uh, fills up the room too. Here we go. puts out a lot of fog. Once it gets hotter it just keeps going. Now it's doing bursts. But as you can see it's already starting to fill up most of the jam room. I have it on continuous right now so it's just going. Here it is with the lights off. <laughs> so as you can see you can see all the beats coming out. You can see all the beams. Uh, it's got a lot more of an effect. And they're moving with the uh, with the sound right now. I must play some music. I don't have any out here. Smooth <laughs> move. Cause you know. And just go with the music. Then. I'll show you a view from, like if you're watching from behind the fog machine, what you'd see going out. This is a view of some lasers with the fog machine. And uh, 
You can kind of see them going out, but it kind of dies. That's like looking into the lasers. Who's here? Again, put. This is looking into the garage where I have all the lights and shit set up. So this is what it looks like, I guess. Again. Quit blocking the lights. Oh, Alright, so here's what it looks like afterwards. You can kind of see the back wall, but it's pretty cloudy. And uh, it filled up the whole garage. There's a little pocket there that's not full. But pretty much everywhere is full. And uh, depending on where you put the machine, it kind of changes to the outcome. But uh, that's my review. Definitely spending the money is worth it. They're a nice little cheap light.